And so EA was destroyed and everyone rejoiced. Hello there, and welcome to a grand galaxy. Yes, this is Spore, a fun little game created by Will Wright, kind of a passion project of his, I believe. Of, uh, yes, simulation of life, the galaxy, and all his wonders in a very, very simple package. Now, as you see, we have the whole beauty of a swirling galaxy. Ooh. And in this galaxy, we are going to start life. Yes. I've already started life on a few planets in different stages of development. Creatures. Life here. We have a uh, simple life uh, over here. And yeah, I don't believe we have anything on bacterial life yet. But that is what we will be starting here today. In Spore. And uh, well... I have um, a little bit of a walk around and such uh, to this uh, playthrough. Interesting note, all these little stars, they are action planets that we can visit. Very No Man's Sky-ish, though know, all these uh, stars and such are quite simple really. But yes, let us begin. Now, a little bit of a change I've made. I have modded the game slightly, which uh, I'll explain in a minute. That was a play of. I like this red planet. I've been having my eye on starting a playthrough here for quite a while. I've saved it for this one. Because you know, red deserty planet, that is cool. So, yes, normally you pick either a herbivore or a carnivore and it is pre-made for you. I have installed a mod, so we can actually make our own to start with. And uh, that comes with a few caveats, but why do I do this? Well, I want to simulate life here. Yeah? And life as a single set almost and a, and a swimming tail. So now we could make some very interesting life type thing. Ooh, red. That is actually really good. We want to blend in with water. But no, life does not start that advanced. Life starts simpler. At least in my belief. How life works. So we just have the two little... Let's see, let's make this... Let's start it. How small can we make it? Let's make it a little bit bigger, else it will be really hard to see. Yes, life starts simple. So we start with this. Now, let's switch to bacterial things. Now the caveat with this is, this editor has uh, basically unlimited amounts of points. Well, birdies are all excited again about this. A little... Uh, you start with unlimited amount of points, so... Uh, and I do want to restrict myself with the amount of points I have, so I've counted up what it normally costs. So normally you start with a bacteria with two eyes, a swimming tail and a mouth. Now we do need a mouth else the game doesn't work basically. The mouth is required, uh, so we'll have that. And the mouth costs 50 points, so that's not a change. But the swimming tail and the um, eyes I want to go without. So each eye costs about 5 points and each uh, the swimming tail normally costs 15 points. So let's just say we have uh, remembered that we have 25 points to develop in later. But to start with I just want to go with just a mouth on this little globula. And we are going for a plant governing mouth because life starts simple. And uh, a simple life means uh, a simple drag of gathering of the materials around itself. Uh, let's do where uh, we can change it form a little bit. I think we're gonna make it smaller and shorter. Uh, Set it down a little bit. There we go. We'll give ourselves no eyes. If we should add more mouths, we sell like if we could just gather from all sides. But that would be 15 points, and we only have 20, so then we get a a, a bacteria for I suppose we could do it. Now let's just start with this little grubula here. So this little red speck, what shall we call it? Let's call it a 
Bacterial name. What type of the bacterial things do we have in our life? Uh, this thing just quite so. Uh, yes, say hello to uh, Listeroid. Decent start. Uh, let us have a little bit more texture, though you'll see very little of it as it is almost nearly kind of transparent in the beginning. Still, a texture of the last laser, so... Honestly, let's just keep it, uh... Oh, I do like this. Yeah, and now we just make it a little bit more reddish. Uh, I want a darker reddish. There we go. And uh, make this a darker reddish as well. And a lovely music play. Right, that works. So, a blisteroid is done. New life. Right, so let's. Uh, and the approval is right behind this button here, so. Boop. So, yes, we have a basic blisteroid bacterial form. Uh, let's uh, select now a specific theme. Oh, well, we could have fun there. Yeah, let's throw my creation specifically in there. Oh, that's just a bunch. Okay, no theme. We'll see what we run across. Let's play it on normal. So, what do we call this planet? Retoros. I think I have a good name for it. We'll call this planet Geon. Very, very turbulent planet of red, red seas and molten boiling lava. Let us begin this story of life. The universe and everything. Through the gigantic galaxy of space. Small bits of dust drift. Oh so carefully. Through the corona of stars. And those bits of galactic dust form the basis of cataclysmic life. Kaboom. And in the depths of this Red Sea, a small bit, a special bit, drifted. As the simple creature Yes, we know how this works, so I'll tell people how this works. So yes, you eat things and you get DNA points and you can improve yourself. This little creature, this little nebula, drifted, seeking, hungering, looking to grow and expand. But it seemed all it found was lost pieces of meat. And predators just about in the dark. So yes, we seek for pieces of greenery, but we're mostly finding meat here. It's not good, but uh, it's not a challenge, it just means, well, life will have to overcome. So as you see, we move very slowly and see very little. Because yes, we're just a simple little cell drifting along in the currents. Thank God there's no starvation in this uh, part. Because we are not. Seems life is uh, in this uh, red planet is not so friendly towards us. Plankton feed. Uh, plankton actually is animals. Our uh, little algae feeding creatures. Drifting, drifting. Yeah, that's more meat. Oh, wait, wait. That's green. That's plankton. Let's go grab it before that other thing gets it. No! Competition on fears for the green remains of plankton. Perhaps 
Little Grabbler would need to evolve to see it, not have its meals taken away by the other simple creatures that invested the oceans. Yes, it is a bit challenging normally. Normally you swim a lot faster, you don't have such creatures uh, counting you. But as I said, I like starting out simple and see where the challenge is. Aha! That's greenery! That's ours! Finally, the little red blistroid found its meals and the means to succeed, survive, thrive and grow. Let's grab this one. It's really among the microscopic things. So yes, we will... Uh, so once again, as I said, when next we can evolve, we do add, uh, I do add personally at a 25 per, say we are at 25 points or so. No, no, that's mine. There you go. But yes, the abundance of meat and prey, it might cause the blistroy to uh, maybe need to, uh, to evolve some more predatory or at least the capabilities of taking that meat. Or the remnants of meat scavenging more effectively. But it'll take a little bit before we can actually mate and evolve for this. So we will need a bit more meals. So I'm hoping... Ah, there's a greenery. Literal. One might call it desperate, if a creature so simple or capable of such emotions. And another one. Yes! Five! Oh, and then we go to... Uh-oh! There are predators come! We are gonna get eaten. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, no, we are. As it grew, so grew the predators. Yeah, we need to evolve. For in such a hostile, ever growing hostile, more evolved world, the little red blistroid could not survive. Ah, new parts, yes. Normally, to, you know, normally, you would have to unlock those, gather those. Now, we, with this mod, you start up everything, but I will try and attempt to uh, do the uh, gathering. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, I want to. I want to spike before I get eaten. So many predators. Quite a challenge, yeah? Ah, we can finally evolve. Let's do that immediately. This world is hostile and terrible. And creatures such as Little Blistroid would need to adapt and grow fiercer if we were to make it in this such a place. Let's grab a few more green rays. Let's try. Ah, there's a mate. We can even make it to that. Oh, we made it just in time, okay. So from afar we apparently made a lane. Okay then. Right! Now then. So we have gathered 14 points here. We can add the 25 to them. And a big is 15. We definitely need to have a card of four jaws. Those are a bit big, but us shift them to something more. A little bit shorter. There you go. The harshness, harsh purpose, and a round beak about on one side of the creature. So that was 15 points. Off from the 25. Let's calculate. At least 10, at least us with 24. 
yeah, 24 points still left. So let's see, what could we else add? Do we want eyes? I don't think we want eyes. Can't get another jar, sadly. Uh, this costs 15, so we can't get those. How much do the spikes go? So the spikes cost 10. We could develop spikes. Honestly, I don't think it would develop spikes just yet. Hmm. I do say we grow a little bit bigger. So there we go. And maybe develop our tentacles a little bit longer to grab more. I guess we'll do it with this. I suppose I could add eyes. Honestly, eyes will be... Yeah, I think... Yeah, we can develop a simple eye, I guess. Or should... Nah, no, we'll save it for a development of more cannon for its abilities. Yes. A simple creature. Once again, still mostly significant. Alright, let's win there. We have the Blistroid. So let's say uh, the uh, mm -hmm. scavoid. All right, scavoid it is. So now our prey is amount It's much more varied. was a slow creature. That was more for oh dear. Always that thing! It feeds on far too many of our brethren. Look, I'd love to flee, but we need to start developing some speed. Still, a little scavoid was prey. It evolved to be more adaptive to its environment. It was not so much adaptive to the predators that were all around it. See, now it can also eat meat. Ah. Finally, it could feast on all the nutrients that were around it to grow bigger, ever bigger, and a more important place in the food chain. So slow we can only drift along with the currents. Yes, we need something against prey. Go to a uh, 20. Which should be enough to get us something good. It was difficult for the creatures to drift against the current. So, and in such a way, much valuable nutrients went to waste for the little scaboid. Oh, probably the green here. Twenty. Let's start with a mating attempt again. So we should still have ten left from our starting uh, from our starting amounts. Ooh, nice piece of meat. But first, let us evolve. And so the little scavoid for it began to mutate to twist, and the ones that could squither away faster were the ones that survived. And so those with more tentacly bits survived. 
get a greater shot at life. We can actually make it a little bit longer, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. And yes, that also means that these stands go the game thicker. A little bit shorter. Can we make these shorter? I guess not. So these cost 15, so that leaves us 10 left. I suppose we could develop a spiky bit. No, I think the tentacles bits is a good development for this step of evolution. So the scavoid was named Scavoid Ringlingus. strain of scaboid that could perhaps survive better in these hostile seas. Yay, now we can move! Still, these are great, but now we can actually flee! Hurrah! Yes, finally the scavoid can escape its, pre its predators and chase its prey. Growing bigger, stronger. Yes, come on, chase it, scavoid! Behind. Oh, wait, 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 me free meat! Hurrah! This is quite a creepy looking thing. Who does maybe have some parts that we need? Something we can learn from as we evolve? Oh, those do. Hello! Ooh, look at how fast that one is. Oh dear. Still Frey came chasing. Uh-oh. Ah, dodged. Hello there. We would like to... Yes! Fed on its uh, on its prey. It learned from them. Took on some of their traits. Oh. Oh, Gotta watch out for that. And always it had more sources to feed upon. Oh, that's new. Let's chase it. New prey reveals itself, new adaptations it could feed upon. It is fast, but we'll chase it. It was time to, uh... Wow, there's a big predator. Always a bigger fish. 
With its new learned adaptation, it was time for the little scav scavenge ringlingus to evolve into a more grown form. More development. So let us see. So we have unlocked this part and this part and I guess the split poison part, yes. So here we have quite a lot of options on how to have. What would be natural for the red skeboid, do you think? I think this would become longer as it became more of a tail. Do you think we should keep the two? Well, this is actually fine, yes. So I think at this point it's time to develop a basic eye. Uh, I've kind of lost track of how many points I have. Let's just say it's the 37 that we got. So, let's see, the still cost things, right? No, okay. That makes it really hard. I have to do personal like budget keeping for this. And it was ten. Then so that was just ten for the extra mouth. Okay. And we got thirty-seven on top of that ten. That makes it seventy-four that we should have total. But um, then we got the Wrigley fin, so that's fifteen off. Making us 32, yeah, we should have 32 points to spend at this point. So let us see what do all these got. So the variety of feeding is very nice. Maybe something uh, more advanced involved. I do think it, it's more these should atrophy a little bit. It's a little wriggly plant mouth. Atrophy to a smaller form. As meats became a far greater source for the scaphoids nutrition. Growing its beak longer. And more predatory. Yes. That its speed became not just from now, leaving alive prey, but gathering prey. So its previous little wriggly arms. Let's see. Uh, these develop into. Let's see how that looks best. Oh, that's copying now. Yeah. There's a little button. There we go. Yeah, let's see that unlocks more changing things. Yes. So I kind of imagine these really mouth bits became more and more like fins growing together. These have become much smaller, yeah, atrophies. As much more of its finny things became like, yeah. Or its really bits became more fin like to more swiftly swim around. me normally uh, Scylla, Scylla. Uh, 15 points okay so that's 15 points from the 32 leaving us 17 points left to spend I do think the eyes became more pro important and so simple rudimentary let's make it really small That's not good. Uh, let's see. Forward. A very simple sensing. 
Borg and developed on the creature, so that's five left. That leaves us with ten. Twelve, rather. So we've developed some spikes. So I think this should go a little bit more here. I think this is good. Ten points left. And yes, as you see, it begins begins to develop more of a skin as it grows. Let's see, are there better skins for this? Yeah. Come on, the chaos. Ah, this is good if we make this like a darker red. Yes! That's a good little pure skivoid. Scaboid. So this is so uh, became a scaboid, it became something quite different. Um, the skin perfect. Less of a suffer organic life form. Or sub molecular life form. More of a small predatory fish like that. Ooh, that's still green, let's get the food on. It will never leave behind nutrients. Well, a lot faster now. Ow, spiky. Spikes still prove quite a. Uh, Tricky is it even with its long penetrating jaws. Now there are always smaller fish to feed upon as it grew and grew. Ooh, that looks fancy. Curious biological developments will always. A hungry is our trait. They'll skip a fish. Beans and hello there, simple. Every once in a while, a battle would commence between jaws and jaws. Hello, oh, you're big. I learned it might need to develop something to protect its own sub. Thank you. Uh oh. Like, you certainly don't have an abundance of mouths. Let's see if we can sneak in. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> Quite a 
battlefield in the early nature of Gion. Swallowed friends as large and small, vying for an abundance of food. I think we should do one more evolution. We are uh, we're at 12 left, and we had uh, after 37. So uh, that means that we got 37. We now have 64. Um, three amounts that is 553. And then 30 off. So we've gained 23 points since. Uh, we killed and we had 12 left so that means we now have a nice 35 round points to invest in this so I think the eyes grow as it grew a greater predator but also knew it had to defend itself the pathway of spikes stunning electrical charges seem to be one of the most optimum ways as it has uh, subjected itself from other creatures and worked past them. So I guess this develops on its back. It's kind of a bulbous, almost tumor-like thing. And with that, I think it also grew a bit thicker. His eyes disappeared. Where's his eye? Its eye went under its jaw. Okay. So the electrical fields, let's see. I also think you might develop two eyes. A mutation of two eyes. Able to catch perception better than the than creatures without such dual vision. It looks very derpy. Oh well. So let's see, the electrical shock charges. Let's see, those would cost 25 points, leaving us with 10 left to spend. We can get one spike. I think, uh, yeah, a spike might also be a good idea. Bigger. I think the little mouth goblets stayed as they are, as uh, well, it still makes quite a bit of use to them, so it grew a bit more, say more. I think maybe on the rear we'll put a nice long spike as it gets to chase a lot, and if it can do something about the chases. bone structure at the tail worked into a, a fierce dreadful spike that would help against the uh, people charging it. Let's also put the tails a little bit on the side then.
right. Uh, oh, I wanted to maybe change its skin. Oh well, for the last stages. Oh wow, I don't know how this works, because normally you know you need to put that on the side, but apparently... Do I zap people? Yes I do! Ah. It could stun its prey and devour the little swarms of think it an easy prey. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience! Well, we can continue strumming her or advance. And with that, we've completed our our track into the biological ooze protoplasm stages. As soon a new step in development for the Sithis eel would come. But that I'll leave for the next episode. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this first bit of Spore. Until next time with more adventures on Geon. Bye bye.